have on the board here two different words. I want you to echo me. My turn first. Can. Can. Napkin. Napkin. Thank you. What do you notice is the same about these two words? I'll take a quiet hand if you want to tell us. What do you notice is the same about can and napkin? Adley? They both think. Okay. They both have a k, k, k sound, don't they? One has a C, one has a K. Is anything else the same about can and napkin? Paxton? They both have an N. Okay, they both have a letter N. Can, napkin actually has two N's, doesn't it? So they both have N's. Show me with your fingers if you notice how many vowels can has. Okay, most kids saying one. Show me with your fingers if you notice how many vowels napkin has. Everybody? Two. Two, it has two vowels. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how if a word has more than one vowel, it's going to have more than one syllable. Who heard that? If a word has more than one vowel, it will have more than one syllable. syllable. It will have more than one syllable. So I could code the word can super easily. Uh-oh. Check your hands. Make sure they're on your desk. Thank you. Much better, Cole. Thank you. Thanks for fixing it. I could code the word can super easily. All I have to do, breathe above the A, and I could put my K back on my C. That's all I have to do, and it's done. But in napkin, you might notice I have an A and an I. Because I have an A and an I, it tells me I'm going to have two syllables, and I have to code it a little bit differently than I would just code the word can. So let's do this first. Um, I want to make sure you know how to clap two syllable words. Clap for me first. The, oh, Lillian, good hands up. Clap for me first the word rabbit. Ready? Rabbit. Try sunshine. Ready? Sunshine. Try mat. Ready? Mat. Ooh, it's just one. Try mat. Ready? Mat. Try desk. Ready? Desk. Your papers are just down hands are on top of your desk. Yeah. Thank you, just like that. Try name tag. Ready? Name tag. Good. Last one. Try chair. Ready? Chair. Good. You can put your hands down. Some kids read my mind. They already put hands down. Thank you. Okay. Here's what we have to learn today then. I don't really like to do this at school because I think it's kind of mean, but we have to do it anyway, okay? So, okay, deep breath in. We're gonna do it anyway, even though it's a little bit tricky. Alexa, you okay? It's gonna be okay, okay. The first thing I have to do is I have to find the vowels in the word. I'm going to just put a little V under them to show their vowels. I say A is a vowel, I is a vowel. That's the first part. That's not too bad. Now I have to look for which consonants come inside the vowels. I don't care about the ones outside the vowels out here. I only care about the ones inside the vowels. Do it with me. Inside the vowels. Okay. P is a consonant. K is a consonant. And now I have something called vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. And now the part I don't like. Because I have to actually tear this word into pieces. I have to tear it in half to show both syllables. <sighs> okay. How I do that is I split it. It's not funny. Please don't laugh. How I do that is I'm going to split it between the consonants, in the middle of the consonants. You can do it, come on. Okay, just like that. I've now split it between the consonants and I can code each vowel by itself. I do it like this. Eyes up here. I do it like this. This A followed by a consonant, code it with a brief. 
This I followed by a consonant, code it with the brief. And now I can read one syllable at a time. Nap, kin, napkin. Whew. Okay, we got through it. When I do the whole thing together, it sounds like this. Bow, you're just listening. It will go vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. Split the syllables. Breathe, breathe. Whew. Okay, try it with me starting vowel. It goes vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant. Split the syllables. Breathe, breathe. I'm watching for kids that quietly have a whiteboard out and are ready to write. Sabrina going super quietly, thank you. Coraline, super fast, thank you dear.